Hello, 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 and welcome to Earth Rose Tarot. I'm here to do the Leo general love reading for January 2021. Happy New Year, my lovely Leos. I hope you're really well. It's going to be a fantastic year for you. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watchers also very welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a comment. And let me know if the videos, um, the reading resonates. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a like if you like the video. I'm going to be doing a bonus love reading for whichever sign gets the most likes this month. So that'll be in a couple of weeks, near the end of January. Uh, goodness, we're already like on the 17th. So okay, it'll be soon. So yeah, don't forget to hit like. Um, so for Leo, please. And if you haven't already seen, I've done 2021 yearly forecasts for every sign. So don't forget to check yours out. So Leo, let's see what's going on for you in love this month. Let's start by getting a few general messages and then we'll go into a spread. So for Leo, please, in love, in January. Okay, a couple of messages, please. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe another, oh, hello. All right, great. Anything else? Yeah, I thought something had flipped. Hold on. Wow, oh wow, loads, okay. Let's see. Um, so the first card that came out, we have the Nine of Cups. So that is beautiful. That's a lot of happiness, enjoyment, uh, some wish fulfillment, and you know, just enjoying, uh, you know, good food, drink, enjoying someone's company, uh, kind of some romance, some satisfaction. <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on. So then the next card, we had the Four of Wands, which is stunning as well. This is celebration. Uh, again, a lot of happiness, uh, joy, it can talk about um, some sort of fated connection. It can even be talking about commitment. I mean, here, this is a lot of romance I'm getting here for you, Leo, um, and a lot of um, happiness when it comes to love this month. So that's gorgeous. Then the next card is the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, doesn't have to be. But this is also someone who is uh, like a wife material kind of card, very nurturing, generous, uh, very kind, has a beautiful home. Uh, so that is lovely. And then these two cards flipped together inside the deck. So now we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So a lot here of like long-term, uh, this is like having a family and a home together and you know growing old together and maybe you see the potential with someone with that and there's a lot of abundance in terms of happiness as well family and money um, and this is can be talking about the home and commitment so you could just be really enjoying being at home with your partner and uh, kind of I'm just getting this sense of uh, you know enjoying the, the creature comforts at home together um, a lot of that all over all of these cards and then but interestingly then we have the three of wands here as well with the ten of pentacles so this is talking about going after what you want for your future uh you know taking progressive steps to reach that future that you want and if that is connected to this kind of ten of pentacles you could also be uh, working well at work as well, Leo, um, being quite successful, taking some sort of steps there. But this is a love um, dedicated reading, so I'm going to try and stick to that as much as possible. But just to let you know, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Amazing. So this is things are picking up speed. There's some movement here, some messages being exchanged, some passion. So that's good. So can we clarify for Leo, please? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Oh, interesting. Why is the Four of Wands here, please, for Leo? Mm, now we've got the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Leo? Anything? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Thank you so much. Mm, now we've got the King of Swords. Okay, and why is the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands here together for Leo? Thank you. Wow, now we've got the Ten of Cups as well. Okay, interesting. So what came out with the Nine of Cups was the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a very um, single, independent energy, but it's also um, very 
self-sufficient, really successful as well, I have to say, like really got it, everything together at the moment, like um, in terms of work, money, your home again, like everything is running very quite smoothly. You've got it all under control. You're looking really good, um, or certainly someone is, maybe that you've, um, you're getting to know, you're having some romance with. Now with the Four of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, so that is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now this is talking about someone with deep feelings, um, very, can be like deep love and affection, very in tune with their emotions. Now, interesting, with this Four of Wands, some of you could be connecting to a water sign, doesn't have to be, it could just be, speaking about the the love and deep feeling you have for someone maybe even feeling like this could be someone that you want to to you know go long term with there could be potential for some sort of commitment in the future possibly marriage but there's a lot of deep love here i'm getting with uh, maybe uh, attached to this you know sense of happiness and um enjoyment of romance this month now with the queen of pentacles we have the king of swords so that is um air energy now so aquarius libra gemini this king of swords is for me it's being quite clever a little bit holding back communication can be um trying to be strategic in some way so it's interesting i want to get more information to be honest i don't normally yeah let me clarify oh let me clarify one more See, now we've got the Knight of Cups. So I feel like anything else for this King of Swords and Queen of Pentacles situation? Thank you. Okay, that's interesting. So now we've got the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. <laughs> More enjoyment and uh, celebration with the Three of Cups. A lot of um, having fun. I really feel like you're going to be having fun this month, Leo. Like maybe enjoying potentially because we've got two queens here and a, a king. There's quite a few people involved and got that nine of pentacles energy so some of you could not necessarily be in a commitment as such but kind of getting yourself out there maybe meeting some new people maybe you've got a couple of different people on your radar that you're enjoying their company because i get that here with this this three of cups kind of um you know there's kind of multiple people that you're enjoying um you know some romance some having some fun with that kind of thing but it's interesting because what I'm seeing here with this King of Swords is that someone is trying to be quite clever, like head over heart, almost like logical, even strategic. Now, it could just be like not wanting to, uh, you know, get over overboard with emotions too soon, trying to be a little bit detached, hold back, as I said, because interestingly, we've got the Knight of Cups, which is talking about someone who's kind of actually got quite deep, um, sincere feelings for somebody else. Um, so there could be someone here that you do have feelings for, um, or obviously everything I'm saying reverse the roles as it resonates for you, but um, those feelings are growing and you're actually trying to, someone's trying to hold back and be a little bit um, cautious with you or you with them, like trying to be a little bit uh, more logical than letting their feelings overwhelm them. Now with this, yeah, and this Three of Cups, it could be like wanting to, because I always find it interesting, this Knight of Cups is you know, that horse is really, it, it feels like the tides are coming in and the feelings are getting deeper and deeper, uh, you know, feelings are growing. But here, the Three of Cups, is just like they're paddling in a little bit of water around their feet. So for me, it's like trying to keep things a little bit light, a little bit, um, you know, not going too deep, too fast, I'm getting, trying to be logical, logical about this. Because interestingly, that it's like you feel or someone you're dealing with feels like there is the potential to work towards this Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. I mean, that is ultimate blissful attainment, happiness. Again, another sense of starting a family with someone even. Um, and it's, it's the ultimate goal, basically, these two cards together, for sure, and heading towards that. But maybe someone's just trying to be a little bit more sensible, trying to, you know, not hesitant as such, but just like not wanting to get overwhelmed by feelings too fast, basically. So bottom of the deck here, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which again is a kind of reflective energy. But this Seven of Pentacles is talking about, um, do I continue investing in something or is it better to just uh, kind of let this end and start afresh? So this could be a factor for somebody here, maybe trying to decide whether to continue giving to some sort of situation. Oh. Uh, I feel like someone definitely does want to. Let's see. 
Oh wow, we've got the Ten of Cups again, Leo. So a lot of happiness, and this is again starting like a family with someone. Um, so let me get a couple more cards. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my other phone which I didn't mute. I might, hopefully, that's the only message that comes in. So let me get a couple more cards for Leo, please. Thank you. Yeah, see, there we go, the temperance card now. So it's like there's someone maybe is, uh, you know, there's that feeling of, oh, this could really go somewhere, could be very happy here, but trying to kind of go with the flow and not rush things, not uh, make any impulsive moves, trying to be patient, temp temperate with our emotions. Card of Sagittarius there as well, I should say. Uh, anything else for Leo, please? What's happening for Leo in love this month? Anything else for Leo? What is this about for Leo? Oh, okay. Well, all right. So we had like a couple come out here. Wow, that's a lot. Interesting. Look, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Now, all these coming out together, that is talking about putting work and investment into a new opportunity in love that could again have the potential to go to something quite serious maybe even to some sort of established commitment it is the beginning part where you start making the effort putting the work in but interestingly what also came out was the eight of cups so for me it's like maybe you or someone else here is trying to be cautious about and also maybe thinking should i walk away from something with that seven of pentacles is this something i should leave uh, let go of it and just give up on or you know look elsewhere maybe even uh, with also with this a, a sense of maybe meeting new people entertaining a few different options there could be one in particular that you or this person are feeling like oh maybe I should leave this one behind and and go and try and find my ten of cups elsewhere the other card that flipped was the devil so this is more Capricorn energy again uh, and this can be feeling a little bit um, well it can be a little bit obsessed there's a lot of lusty energy here as well so that could be a factor that could be like you know can't get, some, get someone off your mind there's a lot of um, physical attraction uh, but you know feeling like a bit obsessively like um, lusty towards someone uh, but also can be feeling uh, with this devil it's a bit like um, feeling like something's not going to work it's like for me it's like an inner critic kind of like you know the devil on your back telling you that you'll fail that you're going to make mistakes it's kind of that sense of um like destructive shadow side you know that um that makes us feel like we can't achieve something or we can't maybe even achieve that happiness At the bottom of the deck we have the magician though and that is trying to manifest something trying to make something happen having all the tools necessary to do so as well it's definitely like that three of wands here taking every step necessary using every tool that we have at our disposal to make something happen so i feel like for some of you leo you want to maybe get into some sort of um, commitment. Well, I'm seeing a lot of that energy here. Something uh, serious where you put work into it and it, it flourishes, it grows. Um, you know, that seed is being nurtured, but you may be a little bit uh, hesitant in some way. Maybe you have some concerns or some fears at the same time as you want it. You might also be fearing uh, if you could do it or if it would fail. And you're wanting to take things, you know, be a little bit, cautious or patient and just take things a little bit slow is what I'm getting um, although someone could be having feelings developing so let's get into your spread now Leo Oop. so I'm going to be asking 10 questions about you and the person that you have on your mind whilst watching this video so the top 10 cards for Leo please and of course, I do hope this does resonate, but I should have said already, this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with every Leo out there. Unfortunately, it's just not possible. But um, I hope it is your reading and you find it useful or helpful in some way. You can always check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, if this isn't your resonating for you. So, oh, hello. Oh, the Three of Cups popping out again. So there could be just maybe having some more fun this month, Leo. I mean, it's very heavy... It's been a very heavy time for everyone, I'd say, since like last 
oh, like 10 months now of heavy energy. So yeah, you might just be actually enjoying yourself, having some fun, um, but a little bit maybe hesitant about where some things will lead. So for Leo, please, with the top 10 cards. Oh, goodness. We've got your card here, Leo, strength jumping out. So the top 10 cards for Leo, please. Okay, let's see. There's the King of Pentacles now. Hmm. Yes, you could be actually kind of holding back a little bit in some sense. Again, I'm getting that kind of King of Swords energy or uh, you know, trying to be a bit detached, but let's see. Wow. There's the King of Cups. Okay. Interesting. There's the Eight of Pentacles again and the Ten of Pentacles again. Wow. Okay. Oof, Leo, bottom of the deck, we have Two of Cups. So there is some sort of connection happening for you in love this month. Absolutely. Uh, now, this could be a new person I'm kind of getting uh, that you might be kind of in that early stage of really enjoying each other's company. Well, obviously that hopefully carries on later as well. But I mean, you know, those early throws of um, romance starting where it's quite, quite fun and um, exciting and, and there's, you know, feelings developing. Certainly someone has has got some strong feelings here or maybe getting stronger. Uh, the Two of Cups is is love. It's also my kind of soulmate card, someone being very much on the same page as you, uh, very uh, seeing eye to eye, very connected, uh, quite a bit of chemistry and there could be some sort of um, the way the two of you think. Could You could really feel like you've met um, someone who thinks quite similarly to you or has some interesting ideas I'm kind of getting. Let's see. Okay, so we've got the Temperance card again. So card of Sagittarius. I already described it quite a bit, so I won't repeat myself too much. But yeah, there is romance. There's a connection, but trying to kind of go with the flow, not rush things, um, kind of retain your balance and not get thrown off balance by these feelings. Uh, obviously, if they are developing, uh, not wanting to destabilize ourselves, trying to be um, just, yeah, go with the flow. And the magician again, so more repetition. So the magician, as I said, is making something happen. Something is um, coming to life, I'm getting, or uh, kind of there could be some sort of transformation, but it's because you're actually taking action here, Leo, to make things happen in your love life. So um, that's exciting. As I said, I feel like you are making efforts. You may be uh, on, have done like the dating app thing or, you know, be really putting yourself out there is what I'm getting, wanting to make something happen bottom of the deck we have the hermit so card of virgo this is a sense of um, isolation or do, doing some soul searching but like it's self-imposed by choice isolation not the kind that most of us have been in recently um, but i'm i mean like taking a choice to actually spend some time alone to you know figure out some things to reconnect with ourselves so this is how you may have been in the past uh, or you may be coming out of that now wanting to make something happen in your love life, maybe feeling a bit more prepared. Yeah, so that you may have experienced some sort of ending, which meant that you needed to go and do that soul searching with this Ten of Wands here. This is something where you, you had put a lot of effort into it and then it kind of, uh, it came to an end and it, you may have felt like it was a waste of effort. You invested a lot of energy and, and time um, and really, really worked hard to try and make something work and then it was it was a, a fool's errand in the end so i feel like you may have experienced some sort of ending which after which you needed to take some time alone um, let's see wow goodness we've got the ten of cups next to that again so now we could be looking at you could have experienced some sort of ending with someone where you thought it was actually going to be your person that you were going to have a family with that you were very happy with uh, I get in the sense that there was someone here you wanted to maybe build a family. Yeah, as I, I don't want to repeat myself too much, but someone you thought was the one to make you very happy, but it came to some sort of burdened ending. It just wasn't working, I'm getting. And from that, these endings, these completions of these cycles, you had to take some, maybe some time alone. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'm going to go and get your next layer now. 
and then we'll go through everything. So for Leo, please. For Leo with the top 10 cards. Please can we clarify what is already laid out. For Leo in love. Coming out, we've got the King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles came out there. King of Pentacles is already on the spread, as I said. We could definitely be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, not necessarily. The King of Pentacles, I'm, I'm going to talk about him in a second, but he is that kind of um, solid, reliable, kind of committed, hardworking, established partner, often. Um, so the Two of Pentacles is trying to regain your balance, though. So. Let's see. The top 10 cards for Leo, please. Okay. Wow, oh, got the Two of Cups again. Okay. Ooh, you're not talking to this person. This person has come out here. You're not talking to them at the moment. Okay. Okay. Right. Now we've got the strength card again, Leo. It's your energy. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. Good things happening though this month, I feel. All right. Bottom of this deck, we have the Three of Swords. So that is basically heartache, disappointment in love, can be talking about a breakup as well. A lot of emotional pain and anguish. It's very, uh, very sad and almost like heartbroken kind of energy. Now, this could be something you have experienced before as well it could be talking about or someone has but let's see now we've got the three of pentacles interesting so this could be talking about someone i'm getting a, i'm kind of getting a sense of someone else who may have really hurt you or really disappointed you or that you could have gone through some sort of breakup with them and um they are now with this three of pentacles wanting to actually put the work in uh, now, this, what we could be looking at here as well, though, is it could be someone actually with the Eight of Pentacles wanting to put make the effort now, put the work in, um, maybe offer some sort of new beginning to you, Leo, about some uh, some major commitment with you. But this could have been someone that you walked away from uh, in the past. You left this situation in the past because it was uh, in some way toxic or you felt it was it wasn't right for you, it was unhealthy, it wasn't emotionally fulfilling in some way. Um, again, it could have been that kind of, I'm getting what we're talking about, the 10 of Wands and the 10 of Cups a minute ago, that it was, you know, you put a lot of hard work and effort into it and it just wasn't working. Now, someone feels very heartbroken about you, Leo, I'm getting, and they want to put the work in, come forward. This could be you with somebody else, of course. Let's see. And the Queen of Wands, so there you are, that's your energy, Leo. Uh, it's also fire, it can be Air and, uh, Aries and Sagittarius, but it is someone who has gone through some, a transformation. I'm getting like a, you know, glow up post breakup. <laughs> so it could, you could be feeling really good right now, looking really good. Maybe you have kind of regained your self-confidence, got your mojo back a bit. Uh, you could have been, you could have shifted the focus to maybe rather than continue trying and trying to put work into the situation and really fighting for a relationship if you decided okay that i can't do this anymore and you took that time alone you know with that hermit energy and you you kind of started to focus that all that effort you were doing to everybody else on yourself and yeah now you're really magnetically attracting people who actually now they want to put the work in to make the effort because they're they're feeling very heartbroken about losing you um, let's see, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance card again. I think that is the third time we've seen it already. Now, the Temperance card is certainly here. This is talking about healing as well, actually taking some time to heal from heartbreak, from things that have gone wrong, from all the stresses and, um, you know, the angst and the worry and actually just taking some time out even again i'm getting that sense of with the hermit as well maybe even going taking a break somewhere i mean i know our options are limited at the moment but if you can go on go for a holiday go for 
a spa break, I don't know, like some sort of healing time out to kind of um, just enjoy some peace and quiet and just maybe get in, get in tune with nature as well or just take a break from um, the heartache and the, you know, the feeling of defeat. Uh, but the temperance can also talk about after this, you know, time of healing, it can talk about some, it can be a reconciliation card, but let's see. Wow. So, okay, we've got the Ten of Wands again in exactly the same place as it was at the bottom of this deck. Um, now, this is interesting because this Ten of Wands is actually talking about wanting to bridge the gap. It can talk about, and certainly Tens are cycles. So, again, it's an ending, something that may have ended already. But this is someone who kind of doesn't want something to be over. They want to actually bridge the gap. As I said, uh, maybe they feel like they want to be more flexible to make something work. Uh, that if you, the two of you are now at some sort of distance or separation, they want to bring the two of you back together. Um, so, and then we have the Sun card. So that's more Leo energy. It is victory as well with this Sun card for me. It is, you know, happiness after a battle, um, kind of the warrior who's gone through a lot, learnt a lot of lessons and now is stronger and, um, and successful and happy. I feel like this is you, Leo, I, not just because it's Leo energy, but because I feel like you've gone through something and you've come out of it stronger, but also people admire your strength of actually coming out the other side of that. Again, I'm getting that sense you may have gone through some sort of transformation in the eyes of others and not just a glow up, but kind of like even um, a sense of renewed self-confidence or, uh, maybe a sense of security in yourself now. Um, and yeah, someone may be wanting to kind of repair something with you, I'm getting. Could have been someone who, you, you know, you were in some sort of uh, soulmate, strong love connection in the past. Okay, so how you feel about your person, Leo? The King of Pentacles now, so Earth Energy, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, and the Two of Cups. So how you feel about them is that basically you feel like this person is someone that you could grow um, and have a long-term successful connection with, like grow a, a home, a family, abundance, you know, things could flourish. You could have a, like a something with them that is um, could go the long distance, basically. And with that two of cups, you feel like this person is your soulmate, basically. You're very much in love with them. You feel like the two of you are deeply connected in mind and heart and, uh, you know, this is your person, I'm getting, that you you not only adore but also you want everything with, you want the, the whole long-term gig with them as well. Now, how they feel about you, Leo? We have the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. It's quite a different energy. Um, the Five of Pentacles is talking about a sense of lack of maybe it could be an issue with money um or some sort of feeling um, kind of left out in the cold certainly but also so maybe there could be issues with finance or maybe they feel like they don't have enough money uh weirdly i'm giving but this five of pent five of pentacles is things may be a bit cold between the two of you. It's interesting because the way you feel about them is so positive. I'm just going to read what's here and hopefully this will make sense to someone out there. But they feel like maybe they've been left out in the cold by you and they are having second thoughts in some way. So we have this Knight of Swords. In this deck, it's called the Princess of Swords. The, uh, the main thing to pay attention to is that um, the sword is split in two. Um, so it and each side of the blade is to symbolize because swords are thoughts it's mental energy it's ideas it's like having a second thought about something so someone could be having a second thought about you again i'm getting that sense that if they there was an ending there there was a broken heart now they are um feeling that they don't want to be on the outs with you maybe they feel like they want to be able to want you to let them in but maybe they feel like they uh, are lacking in some way in, uh, in financial stability 
But it's interesting because you feel like the King of Pentacles about them and that is not someone who actually uh, has anything to worry about, about finances. But um, yeah, so I'm getting that they are having a, they feel like they're having a second thought about you or they want to come towards you with like um, communication and but try to maybe get you to see things from their perspective as well. Now, how they see you, we have the High Priestess and the Five of Swords. So if, if the combination, I mean, they see that you are not talking to them, that you are keeping very quiet, you're keeping, or if you're not talking, you're keeping a lot held back. Maybe you are talking, but you're holding a lot back. You're not saying everything. Some some line was drawn between the two of you. Maybe you put your foot down in the past, Leo, and said, I'm not doing this anymore with that kind of 10 of wands energy. Or maybe you said, I can't really talk to you at the moment because I need to take some time alone to do some thinking, to listen to my um, my gut, listen to my instinct, you know, get more in tune with me. Um, so that's how they're seeing you at this time. What happened in the past between the two of you? So interesting, we've got the Six of Swords, which is kind of moving on from something dramatic in the past or moving more onto like peaceful waters together, or even it could just be moving on from something that you experienced in the past. Um, and the, the Ace of Cups is a beautiful new beginning in love. So it could have been that someone was like, let's leave what happened between us in the past and let's have a, a new start. Or there was just this opportunity for some sort of new start with this person. Um, now, I'm almost getting a, a mixed messages, to be honest. I feel like there may be a couple of people involved, as I said uh, at the beginning, I think. So you could be... This could even have been what happened in the past is actually you moved on from this person who is here, who doesn't sees that you're not talking to them. You moved on from them and you had a, a looking for a new start in love elsewhere, putting, getting yourself back out there and looking for that new start. Yes, that's it. Sorry. So this is why this is a different energy because this is not the Ace of Cups. <laughs> this is not the Ace of Cups person. Interesting. So the current mutual energy is the Ace of Swords with the Emperor. So there is someone, and I feel like that is, this is this person who you're not really speaking to, you drew a line in the sand with, um, maybe wanting that, or is doing so this month, communicating to you some sort of truth. Um, maybe they might be having some sort of realization again, uh, but this Emperor card is talking about someone who wants to be the leader who wants to be the as Aries and Jesh mentioned as well they wants to want to be like the someone strong and dependable that you can kind of um, rely on it's kind of like king of pentacles energy I'm getting here even though I know it technically it's fire um, but it's just someone who wants to be able to be that strong uh, head of the family kind of thing if you like like traditionally but they don't feel completely worthy or, or good enough again this could be something to do with money maybe they don't feel like they um, are successful in their career enough to actually do this uh, maybe they feel like they still need to progress towards something in their career first so that they can have the um, the monetary stability to be able to offer this for you leo um, but they are however with this emperor and i say that because this emperor is sat on the floor he doesn't feel good enough to sit actually take his throne his crown is is sat there on on the throne he doesn't feel like he deserves to wear that crown at the time at the moment so it's kind of like a humbled emperor who knows that they have work to do on themselves who feels like they're not quite prepared to be the leader that you deserve um but there is some sort of truth being spoken about that i feel between the two of you and maybe there will be understanding again you know what i was saying here that maybe they want you to see things from their perspective maybe they are actually explaining themselves about why something wasn't working in the past or or this could be you as well of course as i said reverse anything as it resonates but this could be you saying to somebody else i don't really feel um prepared or like i can do this uh, properly right now anyway we'll see so the intentions of this person towards you We've got the Empress, which is now after the Emperor, I should mention as well, which is beautiful, it's loving, it's, it's giving, it's nurturing, 
it's very kind and understanding there is a lot of um, can be growth and abundance here as well of a connection but um, also it can be that kind of like mother of your children kind of energy and maybe the intentions of this person is for you to actually be that in their life like they, they want this whoever's coming through very strongly here their intention is for you to be their wife their the mother of their children or obviously if you're you know dealing with a, a female that that is who they want to embody for you um but then we have the queen of swords and this is more air energy and this particular queen of swords is the only card i've seen in my decks where there is actually a broken sword now this queen of swords is pissed <laughs> pardon my language she has and the con the metaphor here the symbolism of the broken sword is someone who has given up on an idea because again this is the an idea a, um, a belief she's given up on something that she believed so strongly in um so i feel like the intentions of this person is is to have this with you this beautiful empress energy but they're aware that you are have had enough or have have given up on them um so let's see i'm going to get another layer first before or we'll hopefully get some more information so what you need to know about this person's current situation we have the king of cups now and uh, we have the nine of wands. So water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, I should say now that the action they're gonna to take towards you next, we have the queen of cups. So we've got another pair on the table, uh, on the spread. So the current situation of this person is that they are aware that they have something very special with that king of cups, that they um, recognize how rare, how special, and they want to hold on to you, Leo. Um, they have deep emotion. Like this is someone who wants to um, kind of possess you. It's, it's can be a little bit like obsessive, but in that they've got their eye on you and they have such deep feeling that it's almost obsessive. Um, they are just very focused on you and they want to hold on to you. But then we've got this nine of wands energy, which is someone has put a wall up to protect themselves on person on purpose, sorry. Now, uh, I feel like because this is their current situation, this is speaking about how they have handled maybe a breakup with you. Um, and I know, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I feel like, this past energy is coming through so strongly because I feel like you are getting out there, you are meeting new people, um, but this past energy doesn't want to let you go. Um, and they, I feel like if there was some sort of breakup that you went through, some sort of ending, how this person dealt with it was to not necessarily express to you exactly how they felt before. They just put a wall up um, to guard their heart, to um, to maybe even keep you at a distance. Um, that distance that they now want to uh, actually like broach. Um, but yeah, they have put a wall up to guard themselves, to protect themselves. But behind all of that, they have very strong emotions for you. Now the action they're gonna to take towards you next, we've got the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is needing to make some sort of decision, having options as well. And this Queen of Cups is that, you know, deeply, like we saw her at the beginning. So it's deeply loving, um, kind, very understanding, very, you know, in touch with the emotions and, you know, affectionate, like actually able to express them. So I feel like the action this person's gonna to take towards you next, they could, they could be confused um, or even fantasizing about you I'm getting uh, Leo um, but and maybe they are kind of imagining expressing their feelings to you uh, but let's get some more information yet because I'm not seeing any action as such rather than just you know be deeply in their emotion uh, but still quite confused about it as well let's get some more first your advice, Leo, we've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card. So the Eight of Pentacles, that was here as well. So this Eight of Pentacles is is interesting, interesting combination. This is talking about putting the work in even when it's 
um, quite painful, quite difficult because you know this person who's working on this pentacle made of thorns. Obviously, it's, she's she's done so many that her hands are already like blistered and and you know red and bleeding, and she's in agony so much so that her she's crying at the same time. But she doesn't actually stop. She perseveres um, and continues determinedly to put the work in because she knows it's going to um, result in success. This person is working because she knows it's going to end up as the Ten of Pentacles, that uh, attainment of full abundance and success. So she doesn't give up, but it is hard work. And the Strength card here is talking about uh, obviously needing a lot of inner strength and, um, what's the word, kind of strength of character, really, um, it's what I'm getting in my head. So I feel like the advice here is that you can actually have, what I'm getting so far is you can have success maybe with this person, but it's going to involve a lot of hard work. So it's not going to be easy. So, and it's going to involve a lot of strength as well. Now, the Eight of Pentacles can sometimes talk about, um, you know, focus on, as terms of advice, like focus on your career, focus on your money um, and hold back. Could I, But I'm getting more a sense of if you want this with this person, it's certainly possible, but it is going to involve more hard work, which I feel like was there already, uh, hence the Ten of Wands kind of burdened ending. Um, so it's whether obviously, you know, you want it or not. I feel like some of you, do though because you still feel like this person is your person with this two of cups king of pentacles energy now what is going to be happening between the two of you this month leo is absolutely beautiful ten of pentacles and the four of wands this is we had the four of wands at the beginning as well that is what i was talking about in terms of um the home happiness if you have you were living together with this person and maybe you separated this per i've just given this sense of like hanging out together at home and enjoying each other's company so someone could be returning to the home that you had together and there would be a lot of celebration happiness love like laughter um uh, i mean this is an incredible combination this is so much success and abundance and love and beauty and um uh, and reason for celebration is what i'm getting so incredible for what's going to be happening between the two of you this month let me get your third layer now and just go through and if this is resonating for you please do leave me a comment i love to hear from you and it means the world if i know this is resonating for someone out there so let's do your third layer for leo please can we clarify one more time with the top 10 cards pentacles again yeah okay yeah the magician again wow the ace of swords again oh interesting oh my god the two of cups again leo this is the third time all right so at the bottom of the deck here we have the queen of wands uh, there she is again your energy again so yeah definitely Really, I feel like you're attracting this in with your um, sense of, I want to say like, not self-confidence in terms of arrogance, but more like knowing your worth and owning like your power and feeling stronger, feeling more attractive. Um, really, yeah, feeling good right now. And um, I feel like you are attracting in this, whatever's happening with your love, you kind of, um, you're manifesting it for yourself. It's like the rule of attraction is what I'm getting in my head, kind of like, and not just because you are feeling very attractive, but like what you are embodying now is how people or this person is actually reacting to that energy and treating you that way. So let's see, and there we go, the Six of Cups. So this is someone seeing you in this incredible Queen of Wands in your power, in your energy, and wanting to return into your life, wanting to make 
um, sweet offer, maybe some sort of apology, do something like a gesture to show you how much they miss you. Uh, so let's see. And then we have the devil card again. So uh, yeah, this person, although you may feel like this has uh, is over, maybe you put your foot down, you called it, there was an ending, but this person still feels very attached to you. This is more Capricorn energy here as well. They feel very connected to you. Very, like I feel, I, I think I've said it a few times, like a bit obsessed about you. They haven't been able to stop thinking about you or maybe you know that's something more recently as well like seeing you regain your self-confidence they cannot stop thinking about you they are incredibly like lustily fantasizing about you i'm getting and they want to come back into your life at the bottom of the deck we have the king of swords there he is as it was at the beginning as well so this is someone who could have behaved quite cold uh, quite detached maybe unemotionally unavail emotionally unavailable i'm getting uh air energy again aquarius libra gemini but just yeah, very like logical head over heart maybe that is how this person has been outwardly behaving in the past yes but a uh, major transformation You've got the death card now card of scorpio there's big change coming uh in terms of this connection this month leo huge change i almost like this is talking about the end of um the end of how oh sorry i'm just seeing something on this card that i haven't noticed before oh no I, for a second it looked i've never seen that before but it looked like this that death's white horse had a unicorn horn it's not it's just the way the main has stopped just above the towers in the background but it's weird it's kind of I've never seen that before it just my eyes could not stop looking at it so it's almost like well I mean the whole like, the concept of the unicorn is like some someone uh, extremely rare unique and um, and like a once in a one in a million I'm getting I feel like this person is realizing that you are one in a million and incredibly special i mean the two of cups is here three times as well this person could be realizing just how rare it is to find someone like you and there that is also um part of the catalyst for this change but it's an end to the how things were between the two of you all of that it's like we need a, it has to be a completely um new beginning and there you go the knight of cups as well i mean interestingly the white horse repeated again this is someone with the, those feelings that we saw i feel like the knight of cups came out with the king of swords at the beginning as well this is someone who may have acted very cold they do have feelings for you they may have been uh worried about how deep those feelings were and wanted to keep things light in the past but there's big change now i feel like this person actually wants to put the effort in uh, that's what i'm getting so how you feel about this person interestingly is clarified by the seven of swords leo so for all of this i was saying you know all this positivity in terms of you felt like this was your person that you could have that long term with that has that soulmate connection with but you felt like there was some sort of um dishonesty or about this person maybe you felt with the, all that three of cups that we were seeing at the start that um they were entertaining other people maybe or you know you just felt like or maybe you still feel like you can't trust them completely or you feel like they maybe they snuck off or they they ran away from something because there was a a strong long-term potential and they ran away from it um but there, there's something about them that because this is very opposite in general the seven of swords is not someone you can necessarily you trust or is is incredibly reliable but the king of pentacles is is the complete opposite like completely steady and loyal and dependable so you feel like they there was all of that potential with them but you feel like they they snuck away they deceived you in some sense um maybe they you feel like they weren't being completely honest how they feel about you is clarified interestingly by the ten of pentacles so you know i was getting this sense right when i saw this that there may have been some issue to do with money um so now we have the ten of pentacles again which it, again i'm feeling like they feel like they may have they needed to improve their finances to be able to offer you that stability uh that could have been some some problem and they they kind of left you out they may feel like they left you out they were cold to you as well 
um, and now they're having second thoughts about it. Maybe it was also, if it wasn't to do with money, it was just the, they feel like also this was all possible with you, with that 10 of pentacles. Um, but now, and now they're having like second thoughts about it. How they see you is clarified by the justice card, card of Libra. So yeah, I feel like they see that they need to um, take, maybe take responsibility, maybe bring some balance into this. I feel like they this is also to do with what you said. If you did draw a line in the sand with this person, like no, enough. It was because, or even if you didn't say it, but it was just apparent that there was a moment where it's like, no, I can't keep doing this. It, it was because there was a sense of imbalance in the connection in the past and they see that now that is what you need. You need a completely balanced um, connection, investment, things need to be fair, and uh, they see that you drew a line, you're like, no, there's, in, in one way or another, and we're like, this isn't fair for me anymore. And so, you, but you've gone quiet, but it's because you need things to be fair for you as well. You know what I was saying about like, you were giving a lot, and then you you pull back and actually you started looking after yourself is what I'm getting. So what happened in the past was clarified by the Three of Swords. So we also saw it here already as well. This there is heartbreak, uh, there's pain, anguish here has happened in the past and I feel like that is why um, you basically moved on from it. You turned your back, you went in a different direction looking for that another opportunity because this had left left you very heartbroken. Also, it could be talking about the fact that you did decide to move on and look for a new beginning elsewhere in love and that actually maybe broke this person's heart as well as yours to do so. Now, the current mutual energy is clarified by the magician. So, exactly as I was saying, there is some sort of honest communication happening between the two of you this month, Leo, and it could be someone saying like, I don't, still don't feel good enough or I, the reason that I snuck like left in the past or I you know I snuck away from this or etc is because I didn't feel like I was worthy you know maybe in terms of like finances or something um, that I couldn't do this that I wasn't ready but I'm willing to get better I want to get like learn and I, I want to actually make something happen this is very positive here it's there's some sort of truth being revealed or spoken between the two of you and it could be to do with someone uh, felt like they weren't worthy and but it's not like that's it it's not like okay well boohoo for me kind of thing it's not a pity party it's actually now that they want to make something happen they want to actually make this work and take action and use every tool at their disposal to do so but they they want you to understand why it went down like it did before their intentions towards you, Leo, it's clarified by the lovers, card of Gemini. It's interesting. I have to be honest, I'm just going to say it, it's obviously not going to be for all of you. The lovers can talk about a choice between lovers or partners and we have definitely two disparate feminine energies here. So obviously I'm not an idiot, so I'm going to have to say it, that they could be, their intention is to make some sort of choice between you and someone else that they are actually going to end things with. Uh, you know, hence the, the the breaking of the sword. There's gonna be no more communication with someone else so that they can work on and nurture the connection with you. Um, so now this could have just been maybe someone that they get involved with once you broke up. So it, I'm not suggesting there's necessarily a third uh, party energy in, when you were together. Obviously you'll you'll know if that was the case, but if what, I just feel like maybe there is someone else that they've been talking to in the meantime, you know, trying to get themselves back out there or as you have been, uh, but they want, their intention is to actually end something with someone else is what I'm getting the strongest to be able to um, grow this connection with you because they feel like you are their, their empress. I mean, we've got the two of cups three times and we've got the emperor and the empress one after the other. I feel like they feel like you are their person. So their intention is to end something with anybody else that they might be talking to at the moment to work on this connection with you. What you need to know about their current situation is clarified by the Ace of Swords again. So it could also be that their current situation that is 
they're having some realization. I think I've said that a couple of times. They may be looking at you differently, seeing you, seeing some sort of truth, uh, realizing how just how special you were and how much they want to hold on to you. Um, and their current situation is having that moment of realization about how deep their feelings are for you as well. If they were trying to give off that kind of king of swords, that very like logical only and detached, now they're realizing. Um, they're still quite guarded, I feel, um, for whatever reason, maybe because of that sense of, of not being completely good enough. But the nine of swords can also talk about actually not wanting to give up. Um, so it's I feel like it's more, they have realized how special you are and they, don't intend now on actually letting you go. Now the action they're gonna to take towards you next, we have those options and now we have, um, this can talk about actually not making a decision. With the Two of Swords, it can kind of be um, trying to avoid making a decision. Um, so it's interesting, and I feel like they do need to make one. So let me get, let me get a little bit more. I don't want to make this video like a, a thousand hours long, but why? What action is this person going to take towards Leo next? So I'm getting a sense of indecision. Can you clarify, please? What else can you tell me? What action is this? Huh. All right. Wow. Look at that. We've got the the Sun and the Ace of Swords, which is massive realization but then the nine of swords is not necessarily doing anything about it it's just kind of anxiously being mentally tormented by something that they are hugely like the huge enlightenment that they're, they're being smacked with um can you anything else the action this person's gonna okay wheel of fortune that is kind of leaving it up to fate i would say in terms of the action i'm going to take towards you next hmm. anything else The action they're going to take towards Leo next. What's this? Ooh. Pick it up. The star. Oh, but yeah, as I said that, we have the four of swords at the bottom of the deck as well. So that is a lot of wanting to heal things with you. I think I said that already as well. They definitely, they want to heal things with you. But what action are they actually going to take? Oh, the hermit. Okay, so... I have to be honest, Leo, I don't really feel like this person is going to take necessarily much action towards you next. It's more that they are, they've, they're having this realization, I feel like right now, um, and again here with these cards that came out together, but it is, it's causing them a lot of mental anguish and torment, that kind of the head in the hands, like, oh God, what have I done in terms of letting Leo go potentially, um, and having that realization moment and, and doing like a lot of soul searching for the truth, the hermit searches for the star in the lantern, or, you know, that is what guides them, guides the hermit on their journey of discovery. And there it is, there's the star. I feel like they're being guided back to you. With that Wheel of Fortune, it's also very like fated kind of universal um, orchestration. But so they may be needing to make a decision and I just feel like they are realizing how much love they have for you, but I don't necessarily see the action they're gonna to take towards you next. It seems like they're just gonna be doing a lot of thinking and um, realizing that's, that is the action. Maybe that is an action in itself, just realizing that you are who they want um, is what's gonna, the action they're gonna to take towards you next. Now, your advice is clarified by the Eight of Wands. So, and this is communication. We already saw the eight of ones earlier as well. Back and forth communication, things moving, uh, things picking up speed. And I mean, what I'm getting here is that there's going to be a lot of work, to be honest, because the eights also talk about, um, oh, how can I put this? Like, it's a time of transition and change, but it's also you have to do the work with the eights to actually reach the next stage to, uh, so I, and, so to be honest, my the advice is that if you want to work on this, it will be possible. 
um, to, to put the hard work in. It's not going to be easy, but there will be, there's going to start being like forward momentum with this person. Um, and it may be a bit of a struggle. I'm almost getting like trying to get blood out of a stone. Uh, it will be a bit of a struggle with this person. So obviously it depending on whether you want to do this or not. Um, but the communication is going to pick up get and get faster. But things will gain momentum between the two of you. And what is going to be happening between the two of you this month though? Clarified by the two of cups. What an incredible combination, Leo. Ten of pentacles, the four of wands, the two of cups. Absolutely sensational. What's going to be happening between the two of you this month is love, celebration, romance, success. What I mean, I, I, there's few combinations more beautiful than this. So things are definitely going to be getting better in your love life. I feel like this connection, we could be getting stronger, could be getting back on seeing eye to eye again, getting back on the same page. And there's going to be so much love and happiness that is going to be coming in your way. I mean, with that 10 of cups that we saw twice, there is that taking every step towards that future of uh, that we saw at the beginning as well. And this is what I'm getting here, that you, the momentum is building. It's actually, you are headed in a beautiful direction. Um, even if it's just that this person is going to realize um, that you are their person, but with that, with that realization, with things building and with all of this love happening this month yeah it's going in a good direction things are things are going to get moving for you basically leo so i really hope you enjoyed the reading thank you so much for watching oh, this is officially my longest video ever so i apologize thank you so much if you're still watching at this point um leave me a comment if it resonated let me know subscribe to the channel of course and hit the like button and the, hopefully if leo is a sign with the most likes i'll be doing you a bonus reading in um, a Couple, well, soon, a couple of weeks, <laughs> near the end of January. Anyway, for now, I wish you all my best. Have an amazing rest of the month, Leo. Speak to you soon. Bye.